Yo, 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 what's up YouTube family? I am back with another video again. I am getting good at this actually. Three in one week, I am overdoing it right now. And a lot of people ask me about Trinidad Carnival based on my Trinidad Carnival flows that I've done last year and this year. Where to go, what to do, how much money do you need, stuff like that, you know what I mean? So um, I decided to make an entire video dedicated to Trinidad Carnival. Call me a little personal trainer card about 2018 planner. So I didn't think I could do a carnival, trailer carnival, you know, guide without actually having on a trailer carnival piece. You're probably wondering what days you're going to go. Um, next year, 2018, Carnival in Trinidad is going to be on the 12th and 13th of February, 2018. My suggestion is you go from Thursday, the 8th of February, to the next week, Thursday, which is the 15th of February. I mean, you can give and take one day depending on your schedule, but these days are basically where all the heat and the action takes place, and you're gonna have a blast within seven days. I can guarantee you that. Trinidad is one of, the, one of the biggest islands. It's not like a small island like if you go to St. Lucia or Barrios where you can basically access everything from everywhere. You know, they're pretty far places in Trinidad and I learned that the hard way. So I suggest that you guys stay in somewhere closer to the city, somewhere like St. Augustine, by the campus, by the UB campus, or in Arima, or somewhere in you know the neighboring region. The last time I stayed was in Maracas, St. Joseph, and that was pretty far. It was pretty far in relation to where the events were. Um, yeah, but stay in the city center. Anybody, if you're not driving, somebody's gonna give you a ride. Yeah, it's gonna be, moving around needs to be easy as possible. But remember to stay in a safe place because every, every country has its places that you don't want to get yourself lost in. I've used both not mine. I think I've used Leah and Caribbean Airlines. The trick though, you could use any airline, but the trick to getting into Trinidad without much hassle is getting the first flight out. And that usually is the 6 a.m. flight and you get to Trinidad maybe about 8 or 7, 7.45 for the latest. Um, anyway after that, the 12 o'clock flight, the 4 o'clock flight, the 8 o'clock flight, you're going to be in immigration for hours. The line is going to be from the point of immigration's desk all the way back to you getting off the plane. But to be on the safest side, I would choose Caribbean Airlines for like inter-regional flights and if you're coming from United States or Canada or England, I would use like JetBlue or British Airways or one of them. So now let's get down to what everybody wants to know. What events do I go to? What? How much are those events? These events are so expensive. The last thing is correct, they're very expensive and they continue to get more expensive yearly. So that's just something that we have to deal with. So you land in Trinidad on Thursday. This is gonna be the 8th of February, right? You land in Trinidad, you take the morning flight like I told you, right? You land in Trinidad on the Thursday. The first event you need to put your foot in is called Beach House All Inclusive. This event is about 240 US. I know, don't crucify me, I'm not the, the event coordinator, but I will tell you this. It is worth every cent. It starts at 2 p.m. and I think you should get there at the latest 2.30 because it goes until 8 p.m. Well, sometimes it extends to 9 p.m. but I, the food is amazing. The different stations, seafood, beef, curry, pork, ev curry, pork, curry, everything, curry, chicken, you will get your entire life with the food. Stay away from them white because clumsy people like me will get their stuff dirty and ruined before they even take their first picture at the event or video at the event. So make sure you get something that, you know, isn't too staining or you eat standing oak like this. This is how you need to eat. You need to, yeah, don't know. This is not, this we're not doing that in 2018, right? The drinks are amazing. I never had an issue with it running out. I never had an issue with the type of liquor that was there. I was drinking Johnny Walker Gold Label and I was chasing it with Moe. Traffic in Trinidad is different, okay? It is different and it will shock you every single time how many vehicles there are in Trinidad. You get home, go to bed, probably not, probably go on the avenue, probably don't ever leave. You, sh you shouldn't be sleeping in Trinidad, just putting that out there. You should not be sleeping at all in Trinidad. So you probably go out on the avenue and you say, okay, good. I have Thursday down pack, next day, Friday. Friday, 9th February, 2018, right? Carnival Friday, boom, you made it to the weekend. On Friday, there is Scotch. 
I'm gonna say duck wook, but that's something about me when I say duck wook, cause you know, that's how, yeah, but anyway. Squatch duck work at the Hilton. This is all vibes. This is a pool party. It is all vibes. The setup is amazing. The drinks, well, the drinks are amazing too. Not, mm, okay, I wouldn't say amazing. The drinks are okay. They're good. They're not a beach house. They're not premium like that. But it starts at two-ish in the afternoon, which means, which is what for people who don't know what the duck work concept is, you're supposed to leave work after lunchtime, go home, change. Your boss is not supposed to know, and you're supposed to go to the event. So that's why I said fuck work. Yes, you will be spending approximately 45 to 90 US. I think there are early bird packages for this event, which doesn't really happen much in Trinidad. Um, but this one has early bird packages, so I think it starts at 45 US and it goes all the way up to 90 US. So if you want to get a 45 US ticket, you have to be on the button. Everything is online, so as soon as they say tickets have dropped, you press click, pay for, add to cart, done. And from there, I went to this cool effect called Blue Range Cool Effect. Now, it's I think it's in association with either Tribe or Bliss or Fantasy. One of them. I think it's I think it's Bliss. I think it's Bliss. It's a cooler event, so you know I fucks with cooler events. I really love them. Um, you bring your stuff and you don't go home. Again. You don't go home. You, between those two events, you go by a friend's house and you pregame again. <laughs> you refresh, touch up that face for the ladies, wipe up that, you know, everything, get your mug together and head over to Blue Ring. It's not a fancy dressed up event. It's very much... It's, it's, it's not as hype as the other events in terms of fashion. So, Blue Range Cooler event, no, I can't remember how much I paid for it last this year, but it wasn't expensive. It was less than 50 US, I think, but I think I got a comp for that. But it wasn't expensive, trust me. It was a, a good event, so yeah. Also, for the people who like traditional events, it's Fantastic Friday, or for other people who, who for the other people in the other islands, it's called Soka Monarch or Power Monarch or whatever you'll call it in your island. Um, yeah, it's it's not expensive at all and it's... I don't know much about it because I have never been, which is a shame. But I always am at another event. It's just a lot of people for me and uh, I don't know. So as soon as you come, as soon as you get done with either Blue Range Cool Effect or Soka Monarch or the pool party at the Hilton, you're definitely not going home and if you do go home it's just for a little bit just to wash up change and grab your package that you received from Caesar's Army because we are going in the bush. This event is called Caesar's Army Ambush or Ambush. It's a nice play of words because it's like you do, you're making daybreak in the bush ambush it's, it's amazing the first time i went there it was 2016 and i got there and i was in shock as to how it was so euphoric coming i don't want to get deep on you but it was so euphoric with the light the truck is huge you park and then you take a coaster to the event and it's like in the middle of nowhere it's cold it's wet it's amazing that event will run you about 140 us dollars and you do get um, a package. It comes with the last time. It came with a rag, a t-shirt, a, a t-shirt or a baby tee for ladies that you uh that you have to wear for security reasons. The band. I think it comes with a cup. It did come with a cup. Um, and they're teams. Like every person is not in the same color t-shirt, so it's kind of fun. It's like what 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 that what tribe are you with? You know this year, and it's kind of a fun way to get people in a competitive spirit and a carnival spirit and just like team up. You know, energy and high. It's just it's amazing. When you get done with Caesar's Army at probably 7 or 8 in the morning or 9, you probably leave at 9, you probably leave at 9. Your next task, wait, not the next event yet, <laughs> getting that paint off of you. It is paint filled, alcohol, paint, powder, the works, you're going to be stained for the gods and you're gonna have to get that off of you because the next event is premium as hell and it's in the daytime and guess it goes by the name of Private Ryan Soka Brainwash and this year the theme is Alice in Wonderland. This year it was all white, it was heaven and it was heaven. Like if you look at my vlogs for that, it was so amazing how the production was like, executed. The, the food is amazing, let's start there. It's a long line of booths with food galore. 
I never waited in line for a drink and all the drinks were premium. There, there were bars separate from the main bar which made, you know, like cocktails and fun drinks and you know it was just amazing and they gave you a cup. Hold on, I'm gonna get the cup for you guys to give you a visual, right? So I'm back. I got the glass but I had to get a little drink in it because it was a little parched necessary but this glass was just everything and majority of people were dressed in white and it was like just the touch of blue was like so heavily it was like it was everything and that's an event you definitely need to go to unfortunately it sells out in two seconds the sites crash or whatever they say but yeah it sells out very fast so you need to be on that site going refreshing going crazy like you have no life just to get a ticket dead ass so Cabrain Watch will run you about the same price, 140 US. This year it was about that too, 144 US or 135 US, something like that. It was in that range, over 100 US, uh, aka all Trinidad Carnival events. I guarantee you that you will have an amazing time. I've never seen so many people in one place that is so premium, that is so smooth, that no lines, nothing. It was a, an amazing time, a spectacular time. Amazing. And you can definitely check out the vlog on that. It's gonna be listed below. It's gonna pop up somewhere here, somewhere down there. You know how you know how we do. There's a new event that is coming up next year. It's called Yuma Fusion. They haven't released much about it, but I'm just gonna put it in there because you know um, Yuma is the band that I jumped with, that I played mass with this year. This is this is from Yuma. This 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 it was, it was a good costume. So unfortunately, I didn't get my. I haven't seen pictures that I took anywhere on the internet. I don't know. Yuma needs to. Give me a car and let me get where's my pictures. But this is the costume that I wore. It was Zulu and I, it was an amazing costume actually. It was the underdog in costume, but it really looked amazing on the road. And that could that could just be my you know doing, but I'm not gonna brag. So you're doing fine, your plan, I hope you're taking notes and I hope you're getting all these calculators in, you know, going ham, letting you know what your budget because you don't wanna swipe your card and it says uh uh or no. You don't wanna do that. So you wake up on Sunday or you probably don't go to sleep because you just came from something on Saturday night or Saturday. In fact, everything goes into each other. It's like a domino effect. So Sunday, the first thing that you want to do is go to Soka Street Festival. Amazing. One of the best events that I've ever gone to. It's a cool event. Live performances by Bunchy Garland, by Flippo. By, it was like amazing. And the crowd was a nice mixed crowd. It was, it was just on point. Um, the price for that, I can't remember. But it's not gonna be expensive because it's a cooler event. I guarantee you that. Beach House Cooler Fit. Now I haven't been, and the only reason I didn't go is because shady shit happened last this year. But I was gonna go, and I I heard that this is one of the best events as well. Like it's gonna run you 50 US, and it starts at 2 p.m. I think it's far, somewhere far. I can't remember, but anyway, it's far. Actually. So definitely Beach House Cooler. So it's from Soka. Keep, stay with me. From Soka Street Festival, we're going straight to what? Right, we're going to Beach House Cooler event. And it's the same, I think it's the same people that do the Beach House All Inclusive. Just this one is a cooler fit, so it's a quarter of the price. So that's perfect. Well, let's talk Juve. So Juve morning is Ju Juve is like French for the day opening, the opening of the day, however you want to say it. But it's where the sun rises basically and you still doing whatever you do. So the options that I know and I've tried is Stripes Red Ass. Um, it's less than 100 US I think. And then this new thing, this new group that well, I just got an email for it, um, it's called Juve Jumbies. And I think it's promoted by Yuma. Um, Juve is amazing, I love Juve. Uh, I think Juve is, is the best part of Carnival to be honest. There's something about Juve that allows you to be a skittle, to skin out, to be scavical, to do the dog. It, that no other event could you know possibly allow you to so i think you should definitely get a juvie package and it's just gonna sort of you only have seven days or six days however long you're gonna stay there for to be out and bad and outrageous and crazy so you better go every day there's no there's no time for sleep where there's space for water there's gonna be space for alcohol okay so now we get to monday carnival what you've been waiting for it's gonna be on the 12th next year 2018 february and Monday in Trinidad is a little different to St. Lucia. They have something called Monday Wear, or be now it's more prettier. It's, it's prettier than what it used to be. But it's Monday Wear, you don't wear your actual costume on that day. And I think you start at 7 a.m. 
ugly as hell. So when you come from Jouvet, you just have to take off the paint once again, change it, get ladies who need to um, ladies who need to get their face done and the gems and their hair. Probably wanna leave Jouvet a little earlier than normal so they can get their spray tan bronze and everything done. But the good thing about Carnival in Trinidad is that there are apps that tell you exactly where your band is, like a GPS for Carnival bands, and it tells you exactly on which street because if that without that app you would be looking for your band for days, legit, you'd probably miss the whole of Carnival and never find your band. So that thumbs up to whoever created that um, app, I'll probably try to find the name of it so I can list it down below in the description box, but it's a lifesaver, trust me. Carnival Tuesday after, if you've survived Carnival Monday, if you, if you did, then a Tuesday is where you get dolled up, glammed up, everything, makeup, the ladies, men, every, everybody looks amazing on the road. And honestly, I could say I haven't seen so many beautiful people in one space other than when I went to Trinidad for Carnival. That's, honest, that's the honest truth. Like, they're so amazing. Bodies on point, faces on point, makeup on point. And just costumes on a whole, everything is on point. And that one tip you need to know for Carnival is that it's long, so you need comfortable shoes, no tongs. These will not do you justice. You need trainers that probably go up past your ankle. Because I had trainers this year, but mine were like low, low cut trainers. My ankles, the, the constant flexing of my of my ankle killed me. And during the two hours, we're gonna have to talk about that. But during the two hours of rest, the rest stop for the bands. I was like flatlining because you know once you have music pumping in your system, you're like, okay, adrenaline, go, alcohol, go. They let us sleep, legit people sleeping for two hours. I have a problem with that, but that's for another video. That's for one of my pet peeves or a rant video. This was short, but I hope this was helpful in gauging what you want to do for Carnival next year and you know how soon you need to book your, your hotels and stuff like that. Hotels are probably all booked up by now, but you definitely need to find somewhere that's convenient and accessible and safe and i hope that did uh, you know answer a few of the questions that i've been getting and i hope to see many of you all in trinidad for carnival and if you are going to be in trinidad for carnival send me a message on instagram at og choice or twitter or, or great choice or just leave a comment down below you know my girl pedal is going to be there to tell you that and you know we vibes if you vibes bring your vibes i bring my vibes so we have a vibes dinner okay oh, oh shit i almost left out wednesday wednesday is tobago but well, people who go to tobago wednesday is i think the day to go to tobago i think with ash wednesday is the day to go to tobago so if you're not into that then it's just going to be like tourist stuff that you could do after carnival just rest relaxation get your fluids back up drink lots of water because your system is not pumping blood anymore you only have alcohol in your veins and it's not even funny it's the truth you haven't you haven't sweated it out yet thanks again for tuning in guys to another og vlog video where we celebrate life love and festivals in the caribbean and i hope to see you in all my other videos and just show some love leave a like subscribe and i will see you guys in trinidad and tobago